Hello guys. <laughs> so what we're doing here today, we got my homeboy Jacob here. Yeah. Um, so he's an aggressive skater, but he also plays hockey. Most hockey players don't trust my opinion, but because he respects me through aggressive, he, he gives me the benefit of the doubt that I know what I'm talking about. So let me explain you about hockey skates. You guys all know hockey came from ice skating, and a ice hockey skate is rocket, which allows you for more maneuverability. Um, if you look at a, any roller hockey skate, they're mostly designed as a high-low. They would have bigger wheels in the back, smaller wheels in the front, which makes perfect sense, keeps you as close as possible to the ground, because it has an elevated heel. So they designed the frame that if you, if you look, those two bolts are raised a little bit higher than those, uh, like two millimeters higher. So when you put 80s here and 76 here, it's like a perfect flat setup. So they're all touching the ground. It doesn't, some hockey players think that it puts you more forward. That's not the case. It keeps you exactly the same, but uh, they keep you as close to the ground as possible. Now, this is not the way an ice, an ice skate would feel. So here's my theory. On, on missions and bowers, it comes 80s and 76. But what you want, you want the outer wheels to be rockered, which means the outer wheels needs to be sitting a little higher than the center wheels. So this would allow you for a lot more maneuverability. So in this setup, it's a little confusing, and you would have to buy a lot of wheel sets or come to the shop and we can hook you up. So what we did here, uh, where this was supposed to be 76, we put a 72, and this one is a 76 as it's, the frame is designed. So this gives it a little, like this wheel is not touching the ground unless you lean forward. So basically a rocker setup, you'll be on two wheels at a time, which allows for maximum maneuverability and control. <laughs> I don't know why those companies still didn't figure it out, but uh, that's in my opinion the, the way a hockey skate should feel. The frame should be completely redesigned um, so that if the frame is designed to be rockered on its own, then you're also compressing the distance between those two wheels. Um, but let's see if it works. So I set up one skate so far. Uh, the, the people that did the trust me with it. We're really happy. So now I'm switching the other one. Oh yes, I didn't explain the setup. So instead of 76, 7, uh, 80s, I put 72, 76, 80, 76. And because we have such a great selection of colors, we made them uber cool with red and black combination. And now you're going to see true life uh, <laughs> uh, reaction from our friend here. First reaction. Oh, it's looking crazy, man. It's less stable, of course. But yeah. No, but definitely, like, maneuverability is crazy. Let's the second one. You look you, like a champ it, already. Are you <laughs> saying it only because you're on camera? <laughs> yeah, of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as the camera is off. <laughs> oh, why, why am I bleeding? <laughs> cool. So we'll set up the second one and then um, we're going to see what it does. But no, honestly, does it actually feel better? No, man. Definitely the turning. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Cool. I wonder if you're going to stick with it. No, I, I'm pretty sure you will. I haven't had any anyone come back with things. But how long does it actually last? Like the, the rocker ones obviously get yeah. worn down. Oh, that's that's right? a very good question. Uh, if you notice, if you guys know, like your wheels would automatically, no matter on what skate, the front and the back would wear out faster than the middle ones. Right. Which means naturally, your wheels, like from your body movements, naturally it would get to that. Okay. So technically, if you're, if you're playing a lot of hockey and doing a lot of turns and stops, you would get to a natural rocker without even 
having those wheels smaller. Okay. That's that's just the natural pattern of how they would wear out. So it should last. Yeah, it should last forever. Okay. You just well, have to make sure to rotate. Is that a them. promise that it lasts uh, well, forever? Well, everyone skates in a different way, so I don't want to promise anything. <laughs> no promises, but uh, yeah, generally speaking, that's that's the way it works. This, this could but be a should... guarantee uh, issue. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got it on camera though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you Wait, promise. You should keep. You should keep filming because I want to see him. Yeah, 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 Also, yeah. we're gonna I'm see filming. his reaction. Uh, because he usually uses, I don't know what other wheels he used for outdoor hockey before. For outdoor, is really, really nothing. Okay, so we're also going to see um, what he thinks about those uh, those wheels. If they have a nice grip, if they feel good, um, etc., etc. Standard wheels they came with, I guess. Yeah, they were really soft wheels, yeah. Yeah, most hockey skates come with uh, outdoor, uh, with indoor wheels. Uh, so, and most guys, when they, as soon as they take them outside, they just shred to pieces. So, Jacob is actually really smart. He uses his uh, softer indoor wheels indoors and harder outdoor wheels outdoors. What other information can I give here? Any comments, questions? No. No, sir. All right. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully he's gonna like this. <laughs> but honestly, be be super honest. Yeah, of course I will. If you don't like it. Don't take them outside so we can set it up back to film. Yeah, okay. And we can delete the movie then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this never happened. <laughs> but even if I didn't, it wouldn't necessarily mean that it's. Yeah, it does take some like time to get skate, used right? to it. I don't play on ice anymore either, so it's mm -hmm. not like I'm used to ice skates, right? It should feel more playful. I, I skate rocker too. It should be more like playful. Yeah, but full -time right. Well, I definitely have to get used to it, man. But it's crazy. You have a I lot more like control. It. I'd have a lot more control this way, you think? Yeah, definitely. Should and take it outside it's a, lot a bit. Easy, a lot easier to correct, because like with a flat frame, once it goes in one direction. The only way to correct it is by doing another stride. Where here you can just, from having your weight on your heel to shifting your weight to the toe, yeah. will push you, will push you in. You should try it outside because you have more grip. Yeah, I need the zoom lens. I, I hope he likes it. Good, man. Yeah? Really good. Are you, do you think you're going to go back to flat? The other set's brand new, but I, no, definitely, I'll definitely keep this set up. Okay. No, it's great, man. Like I said. <laughs> <laughs> Job done. Job well done. <laughs> Really good, honestly. Cool. I know, I skate I skate them rocker. Like on my Seba's FRA. Yeah. Yeah, I just um, but they mine are a lot higher off the ground, so it's nice because you you are so tight and balanced and everything. Yeah. Thumbs up. So if you guys are confused with the sizes, because some <laughs> some hockey skates have uh, um, like Reeboks are really confusing. They're like 72, 76, 80, or there's some junior skates with like 80s and 72s. Uh, so this might be more confusing how to make, like which wheel sizes you need. But uh, if you have questions, give us a call. Give us a call. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm gonna stop it.